We're here at the Golden Gods Awards. I'm here with Brandon Smell for Death Fog Man. I was saying before, you created some amazing, amazing everything around metal. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your inception, how you came with the whole idea, with the whole concept? The whole idea of the TV show? Well, it's really funny because I've been working in, I, I went to music school a long time ago. Then I started working in TV and everything. And um, I, I worked on a TV show for a long time. Then I was out pitching shows. And all I was doing in my free time was going out and seeing live metal all the time. And I couldn't believe that I was just waiting for the next show. And, I, and a friend of mine said, all you do is talk about metal. Why don't you just pitch a show about metal? And I thought, I can't believe you had to tell me that when that's all I do. I sit and play guitar all day and, and uh, I go and see metal shows at night. So that was the beginning. And then I, I went and pitched uh, Adult Swim because I had a relationship with them. And I said, hey, I've got a show about a metal band. They're I don't know what the genre is. It's like extreme metal or something. But I'm going to write all the music and I'm going to figure this thing out. And he said, I like the idea. Let's start going into production. It was that simple. But they trusted me from the previous show. So, And then I just I spent like three months and I just wrote a bunch of music. And I uh, got together with a bunch of people and formed a whole team with uh, an animation studio called Titmouse. And uh, we just started. We just started in 2005. We started, and now it's 2012, and I'm still in production. After this, I got to go back to work on the show. So it's been going. It's been going nice and strong for a long time. And then, of course, Death Clock actually hit the road, and that was an awesome tour. I don't know if the guys out there were able to see it, but that was awesome to see the cartoons on stage, basically. Yeah, the live show is pretty much. Um, me and the musicians I play with, Gene Hoagland, Mike Keneally, and Brian Beller, we play to a gigantic picture and a huge LCD screen. So it's like a movie theater sized screen and we're playing and every single downbeat is coinciding with a cut and it's very tight because the drummer's wearing a headset with a click track. But, uh, but the whole idea is to make it feel bigger and more exciting than any other metal show that you can see. And of course that led to Galacticum, which is your newest project, man. Yes. You never stop. Hey, how you doing, man? This is a solo project that I decided to do um, that's a bit more melodic than the whole Death Clock stuff. It's still got heavy stuff, but it's got moments of kind of like different modern rock and like there, my whole idea was that there was no influence on Welcome on this whole project. So so I, I put a whole record together. Um, it's, it's, uh, you can go and pre-order it now on brendansmall.com. And you can uh, you can listen to the whole thing and check it out and see if you like it. But uh, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Oh yeah, man, keep it up, man. Thank, Thank you, very, you much. very much for your you know commitment to metal. That's what it is, oh, man. Absolutely, you know, yeah. And I'm glad you found like a cool outlet to like open people's minds about. You know what I mean? Like metal is awesome. Yeah, it's one cool thing about the show is that I think it's actually turned a lot of people on to some of the bands that are going to be here tonight. So you know, my favorite compliment is when people say I really like uh, I don't I'm not, I don't I don't even listen to metal but I like Death Clock what else is there out there and I say well there's tons of stuff just go go and check it out you know it's all out there all right Brandon thank you very, thank much. You very much man. and have a good time here at the Golden Guts right. cool. see you later